assalamu alaikum students today we are going to continue with the refraction of light lastly we read about what is refraction so now we are aware that refraction of light means when a ray of light goes from one medium to another medium this is medium number first this is medium number second at the interface this is the interface at the interface there is bending of light why there is bending i am saying why there, what is the cause of refraction that very bending of light is called a refraction why refraction takes place because of change in the speed of light which you have to remember change in speed of light that is the cause for cause for refraction that's where refraction takes place so when a ray of light goes from whether rarer to denser or denser to rarer sir what is rarer medium i told you a medium is said to be rarer medium if the speed of light in that very medium is very large as compared to another medium for example if this is air and if this is glass air you are aware that air in air the speed of light is very large so if this is the speed of light now once that very light here now this is the gloss this all is the gloss this is the second medium this all is the second medium once ray of light enters in this very gloss it will not move along the same path as it was having in the air so it will bend and it will bend towards normal that very that makes this very medium as an optically denser medium not density and optical density there is a difference optically denser optically denser means in which the speed of light is less and on this very example we are having this medium this is a denser medium as the ray of light now goes at once it touches the interface it goes to another medium it moves away from nor why it moves that there is increase in the speed of light that only implies that this medium is rarer medium or you can say if if i i what is i i is angle of incidence what is angle of incidence as you are aware of the terms the angle made by incident ray with the normal what is angle of refraction the angle made by refractor ray with the normal angle of incidence angle of refraction if i is greater than r then refracted ray bends towards normal if refraction takes place and i is greater than r then a refractor ray bends towards normal if i is here i is greater than r and if or it also implies that whenever i is greater than r that means the ray is going from optically rarer to optically dense if i is less than r then refractory moves away from normal from the normal as in this very case so now we are aware of the terms optically rarer optically denser we are aware regarding the terms now after that we should have knowledge of what Uh, we are aware of the knowledge cause we many bol diya cause is that there is change in the speed of uh, there is change in the speed of light now there are some many things like once a ray of light enters from one medium to another medium once a ray of light enters from one medium to another medium what actually change there is change in the speed once the ray whether from rarer to denser or denser to rarer if this is the ray this is normal this angle of incidence now it will bend like this so it is denser medium d it is r once this very medium um, once the ray of light goes from one medium to another medium there is change in speed change in speed as well as there is change in wavelength but 
frequency is not changed you have to remember this very thing when a ray of light goes from one medium to another medium from denser to rarer there is not change in the frequency frequency remains unchanged and there is also a bit decrease actually also amplitude amplitude and intensity and intensity of light changes so during refraction what remains constant it is sometimes asked what remains constant during refraction speed wavelength frequency and none of these the frequency is the thing the frequency is the parameter which doesn't change when the ray of light goes from one medium to another medium after this as you have read the reflection reflection was accompanied by two laws same is the case here this very refraction is also accompanied by two laws one is the number one law is the incident ray laws of refraction what is first the incident ray the refractory and the normal all lie in a single plane and secondly the ratio of ratio of sine of simply i will put it like this sin i by sin r equals to constant for a pair of for a pair of media what is actually it i'm saying first uh, one is very simple the incident ray we are having the incident ray we are having the refractory this is the again the incident ray here is incident on an interface separating the two media this is the normal and this is the refractory now this incident ray the normal and this very refractory ray this very refracted ray all lie in a single plane because those all are on this very plane the perpendicular is not outwards or inwards inside the plane or outside the plane it is all the three the incident ray the refractory norm all are in the same plane and secondly the sign the sign of angle of incidence to the sign of angle of refraction is constant that is for a pair of media if this is air and this is water or glass if you are going to change sign i whatever is first sign i then you are going to change for first sign i there will be second uh, there will be different r for i there will be different r for i there will be different r as you are going to change the i you are going to change the or for the same pair of media once you are going to take air and water you are going to incident different rays at different uh, rays at different angles there will be different uh, r's different refractory rays but if we will take their ratio that is sine of i by sine of r for all that will come as constant and that constant gives us the refractive index of the medium which will read in next topic so i am simply saying what there are two important laws one is the sine of angle of incidence uh, the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction for a pair of media is constant it will not change and secondly the incident ray the refractory ray and the normal all lie in a single plane so this is all for today tomorrow will be with another lecture till then allah hafiz